Hydroponics is a branch of hydroculture. It is the process of cultivating plants without soil. The plants receive nourishment through mineral nutrients dissolved in water instead of soil. In my previous tutorial, I have already explained how to monitor the soil nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium using the NPK sensor, Arduino and an Android cell phone application. I will provide a link in the description. Hydroponics is basically growing plants without soil. It is a more efficient way to provide food and water to your plants. Plants don't use soil. They use the food and water that are in the soil. Soil's function is to supply plants nutrients and to anchor the plant's roots. Hydroponic gardeners may use different types of inert media to support the plants such as coconut fiber, river rock, styrofoam or clay pellets. Hydroponic makes it easier to measure and fill the exact amounts of nutrients in the water solutions. Since each plant requires a different nutrients, this can be really a tedious job if you do it manually. Well, I'm not a hydroponics expert and I really don't know how much nutrients should be added in the water solution, but I can help you in designing and making your own hydroponics system which you can use to measure and fill the exact amount of nutrients in the water using solenoid valves which can be controlled as per the measured values. So this episode is all about how to make your own hydroponic system using Arduino, pH sensor, AC sensor or TDS meter, DS18B21 wire digital temperature sensor, TOF10120 laser distance range finder and an OLED display module. Before making the final PCB, I started with the Arduino Nano development board and breadboard to perform my initial tests. This is the analog pH sensor kit from the DIY Mo, which needs to be properly calibrated before you can use it for measuring the pH values of different liquids. The pH sensor calibration I have already explained in my previous video. I'll provide a link in the description. I started off by connecting the pH sensor probe with the interface circuit. Next I connected the red wire with the V plus pin, black wire with the ground pin and the yellow wire with the PO pin of the interface circuit. I connected the red wire with the Arduino's 3.3 volt, black wire with the ground pin of the Arduino and the yellow wire with the analog pin A0. This is the EC sensor or TDS meter V1.0 from the DF robot which is completely compatible with Arduino. One thing that I really like about this TDS meter is that it supports 3.3 to 5.5 volts wide voltage input and 0 to 2.3 volts analog voltage output which makes this TDS meter compatible with 5 volts and 3.3 volt control systems or control boards. I have a very detailed tutorial on the TDS or EC sensor in which I have explained how to use it with Arduino and ESP32 for monitoring the water quality. I will provide a link in the description. The TDS meter is connected with the Arduino or any other controller board using the A, plus and minus pins. For the easy interfacing, I connected male to male type jumper wires. Connect the plus pin of the TDS meter with 3.3 volt. Connect the minus pin with the ground pin of the Arduino. And finally connect the A pin of the TDS or AC sensor with the A1 pin of the Arduino. This is the DS18B20 one wire digital temperature sensor. I have already soldered a 10K resistor and some jumper wires as per the circuit diagram which I will explain later in this video. Connect the VCC wire with the 3.3 volt of the Arduino. Connect ground of the DS18B20 with the ground of the Arduino. And finally connect the data wire with the digital pin D7 of the Arduino. After connecting all the sensors, Finally, I connected the OLED display module for displaying the pH temperature and EC values. My interfacing is completed and now I can start with my initial tests. 
I started off by powering up my Arduino board using a 12 volt adapter. You can see the pH, temperature and the EC values on the OLED display module. Right now the temperature value is correct while the pH and EC values are wrong as yet these sensors are not dipped in the water. For performing my initial test I started with the well water. First I started with a DS18B20 temperature sensor which is completely waterproofed and can be dipped in liquids without any problem. I have been using this sensor with Arduino, ESP32, ESP8266 and Raspberry Pi. This is seriously an amazing temperature sensor and as it's a waterproof temperature sensor for this project it's just perfect. Anyhow you can see an increase in the temperature value which means the sensor is working just fine. Next I added the pH sensor for measuring the water pH value. You can see the value is around 6.9. As per the EPA the public water pH levels should be between 6.5 and 8.5. The water under test is very close to pH 7 which is really good. The aim is not to measure the water quality but I just want to say the pH sensor is working great. I'm getting the correct value. So far the pH sensor and temperature sensor are working perfectly and now I am ready for the next step to add the TDS meter along with the other sensors. After adding the TDS meter, although I was able to read the EC value but it really affected the pH value. As you can see on the display the pH value is changed. This is the kind of problem that most of the guys are complaining about that when we add the pH sensor and TDS meter in the same liquid container the pH value is greatly disturbed. This is a very serious kind of problem as we are not getting the actual pH value this problem needs to be solved before we can make an efficient hydroponics system. Anyways, I continued with my test. To further ensure that the TDS meter is creating this problem, I removed the TDS probe and then in just 3 to 4 seconds the pH value got normal. Now I know exactly the pH sensor behaves in an abnormal way when the TDS meter or the EC sensor is added in the same container. So I decided to check this one more time. I dipped the TDS meter prop in the water, waited for around 3 to 4 seconds and uh, the pH value jumped. So from this initial test we know that when the EC sensor is not dipped in the same container, we get pretty stable pH values and when we add the EC sensor, then the pH value is greatly disturbed. Now to solve this problem we will need to isolate the power wires of the EC sensor. I will use two transistors to control the EC sensor. So the EC sensor will remain off during the times when Arduino will be reading the pH sensor. After Arduino reads the pH sensor then again the EC sensor will be turned on. This is the next test that I am going to perform. To isolate the voltage and ground wires of the TDS sensor, I am using these two general purpose PNP and NPN transistors. This one is the 2N3906 PNP type transistor. The emitter is connected with 3.3 volts which goes to the TDS meter through the collector of the transistor. So 3.3 volt to the TDS sensor are supplied by turning on this transistor. The other transistor is the 2N2222 NPN transistor and I am using this transistor to control the ground. The emitter is connected with the Arduino's ground while the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the ground of the TDS meter. While the base of the transistor is connected with the digital pin 3 of the Arduino, I will explain the final connections in the circuit diagram after I am done with all the testing. So far everything is just fine. I am getting the correct pH values. Now I will add the EC sensor prop and let's see what happens. 
The pH sensor value is not changed and now it's working great. The EC sensor isolation thing just worked. There are no abnormal fluctuations in the pH sensor values. You can see clearly the TDS meter is turning on and turning off. The EC sensor remains off when the Arduino is reading the pH sensor. Now to further ensure that the whole system is working, I'm going to use these few drops of Pepsi. The pH value should reduce. Great, you can see the value is decreasing which means now the water is a little acidic. So after successfully performing my initial tests, I designed a PCB so that all the components can be easily interfaced. This time I also added the TOF10120 laser distance range finder sensor for measuring the water level. I'm not displaying its value on the OLED display module but on the serial monitor. You can use some if conditions in the programming to control a water pump. In the final hydroponics system PCB, I also added headers for the relay module. The relays can be used to control different pumps to aid the required nutrients. Anyways, I did perform the same tests and the results were just amazing. Now, I will explain the final circuit diagram, PCB designing and making. So now you have the idea of what you are going to learn after watching this video. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Let's start with the 5 volt regulator power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the DC female power jack and this is where we connect our 12 volt adapter. Two 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors are connected on the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. The output of the regulator is connected with the VN pin of the Arduino. The ground pin of the TDS meter or EC sensor is connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor and the emitter of the transistor is connected with the ground. The base of the transistor is connected with the Arduino's pin 3. Similarly, the plus pin of the EC sensor is connected with the collector of 2N3906 PNP type transistor and the emitter is connected with 3.3 volt. The base of the transistor is connected with the Arduino's pin 2. The A pin of the TDS meter is connected with the A1 pin of the Arduino. The DS18B20 waterproofed one wire digital temperature sensor ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. A 330 ohm resistor is connected between the data wire and the VCC wire. The data wire is connected with the Arduino's pin 7. The I2C supported OLED display module SDA and SCL pins are connected with the Arduino's A4 and A5 pins, while the VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. The TOF10120 laser distance range finder sensor is also an I2C supported sensor. The green and blue wires are the SCL and SDA wires which are connected with the A5 and A4 pins of the Arduino. The red wire is connected with 5 volt and black wire is connected with the ground of the Arduino. pH sensor or pH meter, V plus and ground pins are connected with 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Arduino. PO pin is connected with the A0 pin of the Arduino. In the circuit diagram you can also see I have added one relay module but in the PCB design I added more relays. So that's all about the circuit diagram. The PCB designing is done in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. All the connections are as per the circuit diagram already explained. In the PCB I added more relays and I'm using 
D9 to D11 pins of the Arduino to control all the four relays. The Gerber files can be downloaded from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is the final PCB board. Next I started off by placing the components and completed the soldering job. Our hydroponics system PCB is ready. I also added vias for soldering male or female headers which can be used to power up other electronic components using 12 volt, 5 volt and ground. These female headers are used to connect relays. These female headers are for the pH sensor. Over here we connect the EC sensor or TDS meter. Over here the TOF10120 laser distance range finder sensor is connected for monitoring the water level. Over here the DS18B20 one wire digital temperature sensor is connected. My Arduino based hydroponics system is ready. All the electronics are connected as per the circuit diagram. Now let's take a look at the hydroponics system programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. As you know, I have been using the pH sensor, TDS meter or EC sensor, TOF10120 laser range finder or distance sensor, DS18B21 wire, waterproof digital temperature sensor, and an OLED display module for quite a long time in different Arduino, ESP8266 and ESP32 based projects. So this hydroponics system code is developed by simply copying and pasting the code from my previous projects. The only thing that I didn't do in my previous projects is the isolation thing. In this code I defined pins for the plus and ground pins of the TDS meter or EC sensor. Rest of the code is exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorials. I will provide links to all the related tutorials in the description. I have already uploaded the program. Let's watch the Arduino based hydroponics system in action. Full demonstration is already explained in the start of this video. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.